the breaking news that we just heard today that Jake Paul is loading his card up in a different way. Normally, we see Jake Paul at the top of the card underneath pro boxers, guys that are trying to build their name. Yep. Fair play. That's fine. This card that he's building for, what is it, October 29th, he's building an influencer slash pro athlete card. And today, Sensei, the man that made you eat a ghost pepper chip. That's right. Yes, he's the man that did this to you. The man that put your favorite football player of all time backward like he was doing double quad stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, Le'Veon Bell is fighting. But he's not just fighting anyone. Sensei, Le'Veon Bell is fighting Uriah Hall. Give me your thoughts. Bruh. Immediately, I was like, what is he thinking? Now, I do know he's the bigger guy. Not by a lot, though. But not by a lot, though. Uriah Hall is a big dude. Yes. And the levels, bro, e the levels. He went e from, you know, your boy, who I love, AP, but he's, you know, he just started. Just started. Brand new to Uriah Hall. I don't Striker. think people know who Uriah Hall is. Extraordinaire. So let's, let's explain who he is. So. Our community. He's a specialist, first of all. A specialist. Yes, in a specialist MMA. striker. One of the most fluid kickboxers that I've ever seen. If you guys want to watch some of the nastiest knockouts you'll ever see in an MMA cage or in any sort of kickboxing sport, go watch Uriah Hall in The Ultimate Fighter. Boom. The spinning back hook kick from hell that made Dana White throat. almost leave the room. There was only two hits in that fight. It was Uriah Hall hitting, I can't remember the guy's name, Matt something. Matt Hamill, possibly. Could be wrong. And Matt Hamill's head hitting the ground and him seizing up and making sounds that you'd hear in an insane asylum. It was, it was brutal. It was like Tua. It was like Tua. Point is, this is a ridiculous fight for Le'Veon Bell to take in his second pro fight. I don't see how he wins this. I know. In my head, I'm like trying to like calculate. Like, is there a way? There's one path, and I think you know it just as well as I do. For people that also know Uriah Hall, they know he's very skilled. They know he he beat Anderson Silva. Let's not forget that he beat Anderson Silva on his way out of the UFC. Yep. Knocked Anderson. Well, not knocked him out, but TKO'd him. Dropped him a couple times. But the Damn. one knock that's always been against Uriah Hall is. He sometimes is hesitant to throw. He sometimes yeah. gets the analysis paralysis. Can that happen here? I mean, uh, I just think he's going to be too confident in there. I think that you, it happens in MMA. So, like, because there's the element of the takedown, yeah. right? There's so much context that you, when it comes to MMA, there's so many elements that get involved, right? you know, and as you're talking to small gloves, mm -hmm. There's so many things, right? And boxing is a striker's, you know, heaven in terms of like your it's one discipline, more free, yeah. less risk, you know, bigger gloves. You know what I'm saying? Like defensively, you're safer, um, and like the offensive risk is minimized because as a striker in MMA, it was always so frustrating for me because it's just knowing that if you are the better striker and you and your opponent know that. It already limits you because you know he's not going to want to strike. He's going to look to take you down. Right. So it changes your entire approach. So with Uriah Hall, unless it's a stand-up match, we've been we've been seeing like a, a lesser version of him as a striker. Yeah. Like Wonder Boy Thompson. These guys, you're seeing lesser versions of them because they're limited in their approach. Yep. If you see them, it was just striking for striking. You see a whole different monster. True. So to me, I'm like, don't you can't look at the you know, you, people think MMA, you you know, Woodley. Woodley was a wrestler who could punch. Exactly. This is the other way around. Like with Woodley, his striking got exposed, you could say, a bit, you right. know. And where in MMA, it gets highlighted for him because he's a wrestler, so he can use his wrestler to disguise his striking. Exactly. You got a guy like Uriah Hall, you strip all that away, and you get a guy that's not going to be able to read the feints that, that, or the, not be able to see the traps. And if Uriah Hall just senses any of that, uh, good night. It's over. It's over, dude. Now here's you know, the thing like, that that if you're given 
Le'Veon Bell a chance, would it be this ignorance is bliss chance with him where he is, again, it's so hard to even think this is going to be, and we love Le'Veon. Le'Veon's our guy. Maybe I think we should get Le'Veon back yeah. on, the, on the pod and interview him for this one. I think that would be dope. So Definitely. He does rough that dub, That's but now what I'm he's saying. taking we on need to, We need to get him back home. on. We'll, we'll try to get that interview done before October 29th. But if he is to get this done, I think the way it's going to happen is that ignorance is blitz where it's like, Bro, I just knocked this fool out. Like, I'm going to go in and do my stuff. He hasn't really been in a situation that he's been hurt in, right? He hasn't experienced what yeah. failure is yet. So maybe that ignorance is, again, bliss. Maybe it's come out aggressive, act like you've been there before, act like you belong there, and maybe, I don't know, land some stuff that Uriah shells up again. I don't know. I, I don't think that's the case, but it's it's going to be a tough— If he wins this one, Sensei— if Le'Veon oh wins gosh. this one, it better be either Le'Veon and Dr. Mike or it oh, better yeah. be Le'Veon and Jake Paul. Right to the top. Listen, this would be the, right now, Uriah Hall, hands down. Far better. Would be the tough, would be the tough, not even just with him, he would be the toughest person to beat, period. It'd be the toughest person that Jake's fought. Right That's now. what I'm saying. Like yeah. in, 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 in crossover boxing, we're talking... There's Anderson is right now the person that we're considering. Exactly. The dude's 50. Yeah. This is Anderson. And, you, and, and Uriah pieced him. And, exactly. So, Uriah pieced him. And, this, and, and Uriah is essentially Anderson if he wasn't, if Anderson was a little bit more timid in his stuff. Like, Uriah has the same skill right. set. You know what I mean? Like, he, no one ever questioned Uriah Hall's skill set. He is phenomenally talented. So if we he, haven't seen him in this kind of setting. But that's to me, I'm too. like, we're going to get a more dangerous scarier you're right home and if you're right like wins, which is the is the you know consensus agreement everybody thinks it's gonna happen here if you're right wins that's someone that i don't know if jake is is gonna necessarily look at because of his draw value but that's someone that's gonna be a problem because now listen we are the crossover boxing scene we used to be just the influencer we are the crossover boxing scene now so he has now yeah. put himself up against names like i mean dylan dennis you know we have tyron woodley we have uh, a KSI out there. We have because these guys are all in talks already. Uriah Hall inserts himself in, and now we're gonna see what real skill looks like. So that fight's interesting. Uh, we do need to get Le'Veon back on here. Maybe we get Uriah Hall on, man. I think he would be down to talk to us. I know, dude. We'll definitely get his input. What do he thinks, dude? Does Le'Veon pull this off versus a really good striker, a guy that? Had his beat, one of the greatest of all time in Anderson Silva, and he's in boxing. We don't know. Comment below. We'll figure it out. I will not sit up in the nose, please.